Hi, this is Joel Persinger. I'm the Gun Guy. Thank you very much for watching Gun Guy TV and for all of your support. I'm very, very grateful. Don't forget, we are no longer prisoners of YouTube. You can find Gun Guy TV on all of these platforms as well. And that does include Gun Guy TV's website at gunguy.tv. You can also go to gunguytv.com or gunguytv.net. It'll all take you to the same place. And if you click on videos, you'll see all of the videos that we've ever produced. So if something happens to us on YouTube, you can always find us in any of these locations and on our own website. Ha! To you, YouTube. <laughs> there you go. All right, likewise, we have an awesome audio podcast that comes out on the 5th and the 20th of every month. We just did a brand new episode uh, with a wonderful lady from Illinois, talking about, uh, from Illinois, Kerry, talking about uh, the laws in Illinois. And we'll be talking to different people from different states and as, in addition to California, so you might want to check that out too. You can find a link for that in the description. All right, what I'm talking about today is this product right here. This is the Cover Me Seat, and I'll have a link to it in the description. Uh, this is one that is not, this is, has not yet been shot uh, full of holes, and this is one that we took out to the range, and we shot it with rifles on this side and with handguns on this side, and what we found is that it does a brilliant job of serving not only as a stadium chair in this configuration, but also as a vest if you just undo these snaps right here, pull these out, undo the snaps, and now you have a level four vest. How cool is that? So it's a great product. I, I've really enjoyed it. I got one that I bought to, uh, to just because I thought it'd be kind of cool I gave it to my wife. She took it to uh, work with her because she works in a school. And she can't have a gun there, but she can have armor there. And then I bought one, and I took it to church. Uh, I've, war I've taken it to church and sat on it at church many times. I've taken it with me to different places. It's just basically a stadium chair. But it has uh, soft body armor and a rifle plate on one side and soft body armor, level 3A armor on the other side. Uh, you know, I don't like to just trust things because, so I asked them to send me one that I could take to the range and shoot at. And they did. They sent me this one. Well, here's what we did with it. We shot it with uh, various handgun rounds, a 9mm, a 40 Smith & Wesson, and a full boat 357 Magnum. And we shot the rifle plate with a 5.56, a 7.62 by 39, and a 308 out of my deer rifle. Here's the test. All right, first up on pistols was 9mm. <laughs> followed by 40 Smith & Wesson. And then we busted out the 357 Magnum, the big boy. Okay, I went down and got it. Here it is here. And I looked at the side that the impacts are on. You got one here, one here, one here. I'm, I'm very impressed because when you look at the other side, Nothing made it way, made its way through. You can feel a bulge here. This is where the magnum hit, and uh, it made a little bulge on this side, so obviously it hit pretty hard. And obviously it's going to thump you pretty hard if you're wearing a vest. You get hit with a 357 magnum. Now, the 357 magnum is the largest handgun that I personally own. If I had a 44, I'd try it. I don't have one, so I tried uh, the 357, and it stopped it mightily. For the practical purposes of this product, this is something that's going to be used by people who uh, might take it to work. And, have, and just sit on it and then use it if it needs to be used. It's actually a very comfortable seat to sit on if it's just sitting in your office chair. I, I've sat on it for about the last two or three days in my office chair and I took it to church and sat on it there. It's very comfortable. Or you might take it if you happen to go watch your, your kid play sports or whatever you can do. Any place where a stadium seat is going to be allowed, this is going to be allowed. So it's a very practical product. And in, in that environment, active shooter environment, handguns, I'm not seeing too many active shooters walk into places with 44 magnums to shoot them up. So 357 is probably about the most you're going to see, and it stopped that without any problem. Now, the other side is the rifle plate. On the rifle end, we thought we'd start light with a 5.56 out of my Mini 14 to see how that did. Then it was a 7.62 by 39 out of my Sega AK with Red Army ammo. And finally, we knew we had to take a whack at it with the 308. If it would stop the 308, then I felt confident it would protect me. Looking good so far. 
Now, it was super hot in Yuma on that day, so I didn't want to take this thing apart for you uh, at that time. Instead, I wanted to do it here. So now I've got, this is the actual vest that we shot. So this is the rifle plate side. We hit it with the three rifle, rain, rifle rounds. And here's the pistol side. So what I'm going to do now, it's going to take a few minutes to do, is I'm going to get these rounds out of here and cut this open. And I'll cut the other side open so you can see what happened on the inside. I'll, I'll pull the material out. So I'll be right back. Okay, once I got it all taken apart, you can see I've got the carrier back here, which essentially just has foam in it because it's in a zipper. And this is just a carrier that makes it a stadium chair because it's a dual purpose product. As a stadium chair, it's awesome. It's a little heavier than most stadium chairs, but honestly, it's very, very comfortable. But here's the nice part about it. It's also very good quality armor. This is the sewn bag that contains the uh, soft body armor on the inside. And this is the one we actually poked holes in. This is the one that was behind the plate on the rifle side. And as you can see, while it suffered some, you know, getting beat up a little bit by being hit and just being in there with the plate, this one is undamaged because the plate took the damage. So I'll look at that here in just a second. And this one, we shot it with pistol rounds, a nine millimeter, a 40 Smith and Wesson and a 357 Magnum. And you can see the three holes here. We can discard that. And then you can see the three holes here. And it's fairly obvious when you look at the back, you can see how wide it is and how deformed it is. This is where the rounds were stopped. And this big bulge here, uh, frankly, most of this is from the 357 Magnum. It hit so hard it bulged it out a little bit. So as I look at this and start peeling back the layers, uh, what I can see is that it went through a number of layers of material. Actually, I haven't seen a, uh, this is, I'm just peeling it back now. <laughs> Uh, all right, here's uh, here's some jacket. Here's a jacket and some uh, material from one of the rounds. This looks like a 40 that it's spread out. So that looks like that might be the 40 Smith and Wesson. Some lead and uh, and the copper jacket. Let's see what else we got in here. Little pieces of of fragmented rounds all over the place here. Those could be uh, pieces that came off as it lost different parts of the bullet. And then we get a little further in here. Uh, that could be, whoops, here's one here that's actually pretty solidly in good shape, and I'll show you a close-up of it. That could be the uh, either the 9mm or the 40. In fact, I think that might be the 40 there. And then as I get further in, uh, we're still making holes here. Let me get back in here a bit and see if I can find the Magnum, which is really buried in here. As you can see, the holes are still, it's still making holes here, and I can see the round all the way back in here there's the 357 magnum and that was a that was a serious magnum round that was not a a light magnum round that came out of my smith and wesson model 66 and you can see how it it went through a lot of these i'm trying to see how far back it penetrated it did not penetrate this is the first panel it did not penetrate so it stopped before it got to damage this panel but did not penetrate it and that's how much armor you had left that it didn't penetrate. So I suspect that it would handle, it's rated to handle a 44 at level 3A. I suspect that it would handle a 44. In fact, frankly, given the amount of panels left, uh, I'd be surprised if it wouldn't handle something like a, uh, something bigger than that. But the reality is, this is something that you're going to have with you for active shooter protection, probably more than anything else. Not too many active shooters are going to show up with handguns bigger than 357 Magnum. I mean, just statistically, it doesn't happen. They're mostly in the 9mm and 40 uh, group. Uh, somewhere in there, maybe 38, 357 Magnums, even that. It's kind of rare. So that's the pistol side. It performed, obviously, admirably, and it stopped every pistol round. I was very, very encouraged by that. Rifle side, obviously the plate took the brunt of it. The uh, the armor, which is a soft body armor, level 3A armor behind it, took no damage whatsoever. You can see that we hit the plate three times. I don't know which is which, uh, but we hit it once with a 5.56. Five, this looks like the 308 over here. Once with a 308 and once with a 7.62 by 39. And you can see, if you if you can see it, there's a deformation here. This is probably the 308, and this is the, the most damage is over here uh, from that part of the plate. This is probably the 308, and then you've got some deformation here and here where the other two rounds hit, uh, but this is the biggest one. But you can see nothing penetrated. I find that extremely encouraging because it took three rounds. Had it taken more rounds, I could have shot it more, and probably as long as it didn't hit exactly in the same spot multiple times, it would have provided quite a bit of protection. 
So I'm actually thrilled with the product for, for a few reasons, not least of which is that obviously the armor performs extremely well. It performs up to level four standards where the uh, uh, rifle plate is concerned. It stopped every round I threw at it and I threw, I mean, I, every one of them was, by the way, full metal jacket rounds. So I didn't throw any soft points at it. These were all full metal jacket rifle rounds, including the 308, and it still stopped it. Now I didn't throw any AP rounds at it, frankly, because I didn't have any. <laughs> so I didn't, but I'm still very thrilled with the armor. This is a product I think that is very viable for folks who you're going to church, you want to use it as a stadium chair, a, soft, a little softer place to sit at church. You work in an office environment where you're not allowed to carry a firearm, even if you have a concealed permit, but you, you might have some level of protection and you may have some warning because whatever's happening could be happening in another part of the building, another part of the office, it gives you a little time to put this on. And I, I can tell you, I have been practicing with it. It's very fast. At first, it took me about eight or nine seconds to put it on. Now I can do it in about four because it's very simple to do. I got to move all this stuff out of the way. And forgive me, I'm wearing a microphone right here, so it might bop the microphone if I try to put it on, so I'm not going to do it for you. But you can see that what holds it together are these snaps here. That's what makes it a chair. So basically, you've got these great big snaps at the top. And see if I can get this out of the way here. Put that over there and that's what makes this a chair because those snaps hold it together and these straps make it into a chair so you can sit on it you can lean it back and you can enjoy using it that way once you want to make a vest out of it you pull these straps out which are tucked into this little forward pocket undo these and then simply put your arms through slide your head through and cinch up these ones down here and i'll show you a picture of me with it on so that i'm not you know banging around making big noises with the microphone so you can see how it fits but honestly uh, i'm i'm excited about the product it's a it's a it appears to be nothing more than a stadium chair i had several people at church say to me that's a great idea i'm gonna bring my chair it gives me some extra padding while i'm listening to the 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 uh to the message so I thought that was kind of neat. I've taken it around with me a lot. I've used it in a lot of places. Nobody has ever suspected it was anything other than what it appears to be, which is essentially a portable chair for going to the ball game or whatever. Uh, but it's extremely durable and it stops rounds very, very well. Now you might be asking, why not a rifle plate on both sides? I asked the same question. There's a reason for that. The rifle plate on the chair, when it's in chair configuration, is on the back. The bottom is the soft body armor and the cushion, and there's a cushion between you and the rifle plate. I flipped it over and sat on the rifle plate side. That's not comfortable at all. So first of all, it's uncomfortable, you're not going to use it. Secondly, the rifle plate, if it's up against hard surfaces like wood or metal or concrete because you're out watching the game or sitting in the bleachers or whatever, the plate itself is going to deteriorate. That's what the manufacturer tells me that was their concern, is if you're sitting on it a long time and it's kind of up against hard surfaces like that, you're eventually going to deteriorate the rifle uh, plate and your armor is not going not to work satisfactorily, perhaps. So rather than risk that, they put a pocket in the design for one side, the back of the chair. And then you have to decide at that point, are you going to be forward leaning? Are you going to be going after the threat? Or, or are you a teacher with the kids in the classroom and you've got the door locked and you're facing the door, then you want the plate in the front. If you know the shooter is over there and you're going that way, you want that plate in the back and you can dip and get out of there. Is it a perfect solution? No, but it gives you protection about yay big and that is more protection than you'd have otherwise. Otherwise, you're just wearing the armor I'm wearing, which is a t-shirt or whatever clothes you got on. So. This is a great solution. I, I'll tell you how much I, I bought, have bought into it now that I've tested it. This is my chair. I take it with me to church. I take it with me to the office. My wife has one. She takes it with her to the office. She works in a school. I have one of these for each and every member of my family. And no, they did not send them to me for free and they did not give me a discount. I bought each and every one because I wanted my family to know when they went someplace where they felt that they could use a stadium chair, they also had armor as well. I've shown this to a buddy of mine who's a Border Patrol agent. He's going to buy one. I showed one to a friend of mine who's an NCIS instructor. He thought it was awesome, and he probably will buy one. I've shown them to a number of folks like that. Very excited about the product. So I urge you to check it out. They do not pay me a dime. I'm not a shill. I'm not getting paid by them. Although if they want to send me money, I certainly won't turn it down. But that's not the person purpose behind this. I'm just trying to share a great product with you that I think might do you some good. Check it out. It's the Cover Me Seat. I'll have a link in the description. Thank you again for watching. Have a great day. And wherever you go, whatever you do, please.
Be safe.